Joining me uh, is the head of municipal bond group at BlackRock, Peter Hayes. And Peter, just listening to what Dom is saying about the attractiveness of these yields, are we going to see more investors coming into the muni bond markets? I think they, they may. I think certainly what we'll see more of is probably non-traditional buyers come into the market. I think the sell-off has been healthy. We came from a place of very, very low yields, and now we've risen in many cases you know, up to 100 basis points higher in yield. So I think that's what it's done is it's opened up the investment to non-traditional buyers don't, don't necessarily who be, need. Who would be who exactly? Uh, for instance, banks, even hedge funds, insurance companies, et cetera, who don't need the, the tax-free income. Typically, the municipal market is a retail-driven market. So the idea here, the level, higher level of rates has been attractive in that it's attracted non-retail type of buyers. I think we began to see that at the end of last week. Uh, and Peter, is it as we were just hearing from Dom that the the issuance of Build America bonds, that is why you're seeing sort of this huge loss going on right now? I think the, the Build America bonds, if you go back to the inception of the program in 2009, it's had a tremendous positive benefit on the price performance of the traditional tax exempt market. There's been over 160 billion issued since the inception of the program. So if you think about that issuance being moved from the tax exempt market to the taxable market, that's been, had a big positive price impact. So since the election, I think the probability of the program being extended, remember it's supposed to uh, be suspended the end of this year, that probability has gone from probably something like 75% to closer to a 50-50 proposition, especially given the fact that the House uh, is now controlled by the Republicans. Uh, is, uh, is liquidity a concern for investors? I think liquidity in, in the municipal market and the fixed income markets is always somewhat interesting. It's a big supply demand dynamic. The good news is I think we did see large outflows from mutual funds last week. We saw a lot of selling in ETFs. But mutual funds and ETFs really offer the individual client the most liquid way to express their municipal investment. So I think in that sense it, it did work. Um, so we'll see whether they, they come back into the market at higher yield levels now or not. So Peter then, given this environment right now in the muni bond market, how difficult is it going to be for governments to tap it to raise more money? That's a good question, and that's what the importance of the Build America bond program has shown, is that it really helped the municipal market, the tax-exempt market, operate in a more orderly, less volatile fashion. So now the possibility of that program going away, I think, is leading to the perception that all that supply might have to come back into the market. It might make it diff more difficult for issuers to access capital, and they may have to pay more uh, a higher interest rate to access the markets as well. So that's what we've seen. I think that's why the program has been important. It's going to make it hard for them to close those budget gaps. Thank you, Peter. Peter Hayes right. of BlackRock.